Oh, we all know going to the emergency room is going to cost you big time. Oh, of course, but a trucky woman is facing serious sticker shock after seeing the breakdown of a cost for a recent trip to the hospital. When it comes to billing, you anticipate outrageous ER charges. I, I knew that those were coming even with insurance. I just didn't anticipate what I saw when I did get the bill. Yeah, because the most expensive part of that bill wasn't even the surgery. No, it wasn't. KCRA 3 investigates Brittany Johnson's been on the case and joins us now. So, Brittany, what did you find out? Lisa, Ty, not the surgery, but the tetanus shot. Now, I called around to our local pharmacies and found the shot can cost you about 60 to 80 bucks before insurance. But what Kate Spurry paid well beyond that price. Back on her feet and in the garden. It's meditative for me. Kate Spurry says it's time to relax after a stressful couple of months. I wasn't able to garden uh, because it takes so much dexterity. Over the summer, Spurry injured her foot on a white water rafting trip. I had broken my foot and there was a bone sticking out. It was pretty obvious. I needed the nearest um, ER. She had surgery at Marshall Medical Center in Placerville. I got great care. They did a great job. They stitched me up and gave me some antibiotics and tetanus shot and uh, sent me on my way uh, with some crutches and a cast. But that's when the headache started. A medical explanation of benefits from her insurance company saying the cost of her tetanus shot was more than $2,100. I was flabbergasted. Her insurance said it would cover some of it, but she could still be responsible for more than $1,200. It was more than the actual procedure. Why would a shot that took about 10 seconds to administer uh, be twice that? of a procedure that took well over an hour. She says she wasn't even sure she needed the booster. I was asked when my last tetanus shot was, and I wasn't sure, but I think it was about 2016, and the way the conversation went was, um, well, let's give you a booster just to be safe. Sure, right? In shock. She says she called the hospital several times over the course of a week, trying to make sure the bill was correct. The gal that I spoke to said, Nope, that's correct, and emergency care is always more expensive. At her wit's end, she also contacted KCRA 3 Investigates. We finally got a statement from the hospital CEO saying the hospital has thousands of different charge codes for medications and its algorithms can lead to errors, saying, quote, a $2,000 tetanus shot is not acceptable. The statement goes on to say, I want to thank those who have brought discrepancies to our attention. Now, after KCRE 3 investigates reached out to Marshall Medical Center, its president and CEO says it is now reviewing their pricing approach for all medications. Well, I don't know what the outcome here is going to be, so I'm not sure if what I'm doing is going to be effective, but certainly ask questions. Call the insurance company, ask questions, call the hospital, ask them questions. Late this afternoon, we did hear from Kate's insurance company who tells us after receiving additional information, Kate's claim has been reprocessed and she no longer owes anything. So it really took you getting involved for them to really take a closer look at this and say this was a mistake, now she doesn't have to pay. What should other patients do if they're concerned about a bill? You got to trust your gut, right? If yeah. you think something is wrong, that's what Kate thought. Do your research. It took a lot of research and then, yes, us getting involved. And then also the hospital recommends reaching out to a financial counselor at the hospital. Although, as you did hear from Kate, it might take several calls to get the answer that you're looking for. Lisa, Ty? Persistence. You got to be persistent. Wow. If you don't have Brittany Johnson, you got to be persistent. <laughs> hey, give me a call. <laughs> Seriously, great job. That's a lot of legwork that somebody has to go through. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Brittany, thank you. Well, if you have something you want uh, our investigative team like Brittany to look into, you can send her an email. That address is right here on your screen. It is KCRA3investigates at kcra.com.